here we're going to look at contingent demand for inputs or long-run conditional demand for inputs and this will be under the case of fixed proportions production functions so here is a fixed proportions production function where output Q is the minimum of A times units of labor or B times units of capital fixed proportions production function uh, means that output will occur at the vertex or kink of the isoquant this means that Q will equal A times L which will equal B times K the first thing we want to do is we want to solve for L and K so if Q equals A times L L is given by this expression and if Q equals B times K K is given by this expression Step two, total cost equals R, the rental rate of capital, times units of capital, plus the wage times units of labor. What we're going to do now is do some substitution. For L, we're going to plug in Q divided by A, and for K, we're going to plug in Q divided by B. So down here shows the result after making those substitutions. The final step, step three, after making our substitutions, we're going to take a couple partial derivatives of this total cost equation, and by doing that, we will get our conditional demand for labor and conditional demand for capital. So taking the partial derivative of total cost with respect to the wage, we're going to get just Q divided by A. Taking the partial derivative of total cost with respect to R, just going to get Q divided by B. And that's how you find contingent demand for inputs. Let's do a numerical example. Here the fixed proportion, fixed proportions production function looks like this. So that means Q will equal 2 times L, which will equal 3 times K. Solving for L and K respectively, we get that. Making those substitutions into our total cost equation and then taking our partial derivatives, so the conditional demand for labor is just going to be Q divided by 2, and the conditional demand for capital will just be Q divided by 3. Uh, they're referred to as conditional because it's conditional on the output of the firm. Q is showing up here in our input demand functions. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.